Good afternoon and welcome to the Gift and Home Channel. I'm here with a good friend of mine, Rollins Gilliland, and he is hey. going to be our road show tour here at DMC <laughs> on Tabletop Trends. Rollins, welcome to the Gift and Home Channel. Glad to be here. I'm thrilled you're here. It's great. Well, we're going to be touring the rest of the day through the building. He's going to take us into the top showrooms that are showing the top trends here at DMC on Tabletop. And we're looking forward to a really great show. Now, here's what the criteria is for being on the tour. First of all, if it's something I've seen everywhere, but theirs is the best version, I put it on the tour. I absolutely ask minimums, and you'll notice that almost without, a, uh, uh, without exception, I will have the information, what the minimum is for that line and showroom w in this information. What we do is we move fast. I guarantee you everybody that's on my tour always says they lose a pound. There's nothing wrong with that. you'll notice there's several things here that are really across the board trends that I see in the market period and one of them is a, a, a I'm a big believer in odd shapes and yin-yang, metal mixed with glass, mixed with formal, mixed with... One of the trends, and I'll speak to that more, and it's in the information that you've got there, is that there is a return to formality. I mean, it's polarizing very much, very, very, very much a, a traditional elegance, but it's also over here then, the whimsy continues, but the color by and large is in the, is in the more informal patterns. But I love what they're doing here, and this is also so a five-piece place setting is at 172.50, and at this point in time, that's about where it, where it should be. But let's look here at Gail Pittman. They have gone up on their minimum, but this is absolutely a great line. It keeps getting better and better and better. So look at this. I would end up buying this as the dinner plate. That's what I would do. And I can tell you, I've been a man all my life, and men would like this. It's heavy, and it's square, and it doesn't look foo-foo, but at the same time, it's going to set a really wonderful table. Okay, chop-chop. <laughs> How many times have you heard me say that on tours? I'm crazy about this line. First of all, I'm a big believer right now in glass dinnerware. Um, I just think it integrates beautifully. It also makes for some really stunning casual. But this is Bormioli, and I am just crazy about this line. This is a $300 minimum. The price is, look at, first of all, let's just look at the barware. You know, this is saying something. First of all, it feels good to the hand, but it looks good. You know, it's free shapes. Organic is one of the trends where things sort of look sculpted and organic and speak to nature. Or they just look twisted, like that person you used to date. Um, Again, see how something like this? This would look beautiful on something that, you know, that has color underneath it. You can use a, a, a dinner plate from another pattern and set this on, again, for something casual. I like, I like the line very much. And again, see, I don't mean to like beat this dead horse, but look how, again, all through the market, you're seeing these geometric shapes, these squares with rounded edges. I always say, do not typecast your customer, do not typecast a showroom, do not typecast a line, because you never know what you're going to find. Everywhere I go, I'm surprised. That's why I always go in and out of every single showroom out here before I put the tour to bed. Okay, follow me. Okay, everybody, we're in the middle of page one. Come on, everybody move. This is, a is it ACK or ACK? A-C-K. I thought it was that, that. This is Mary Lou back there and Tom. The thing I love about this showroom, I cannot tell you. All right, everybody repeat after me. No minimum. No minimums. Don't you love that? You don't hear that enough. And this is no minimum. And, and yet, look at this. Everything is a bargain. And everything is witty and clever. You can be buying like his giftables. You could be buying these, these clocks and things. But look, you could, for, for you who have customers who do the teapots, they are there. But all through here, you've got all the thematic uh, tableware. Think creative. That's what's making the difference these days. And again, if everything is the same, like if all the chargers were that way and then you had the clear glass like we saw in Barmielli, would that not be great? This is a great showroom and a hot tip. Because again, if it's pheasant under glass, 
you know, and, and the minimum is too high and the average price point's too high, that doesn't do you any good. But look over here. Everywhere you go, I just love it. I love it. I'm telling you. I just get so sometimes enthusiastic. I feel when I'm putting this tour together that if I get goose pimples and I get excited, then by God, I want to see some goose pimples on you. Okay? All right. Hey. Rollins, what a great tour. I cannot tell you no, how was... exciting I was to be on that discovery tour with you. Well, it was fun having y'all, and you really added to it. You could have been in the way, but you were fun, and, and I appreciate it. Well, it was so exciting to see all the trends that you showed on Tabletop and ways to mix and match, and you showed them the high ends, the low ends, the fun, the discovery of it, that, you know, there's a surprise around every corner, isn't there? Well, there really is, and, and the Dallas Market Center is very well laid out for that because the, we were over in the trademark and and every showroom has something that works back on into a table even if it's a giftable item it might be a nut bowl but it can be like something for a special uh, soup or whatever well and it really shows the independent retailer that they really need to spend a little bit of time going into showrooms that they wouldn't normally amen. go into amen as i said don't typecast the showroom you know they'll say oh it's a giftable showroom don't go in there don't typecast your customer they may be traditional, but you know what? They'll find something on vacation and buy it there if you don't show them at your place. And that's true. No one ever wants to miss a sale like that. The only way, really, I see everybody right now either struggling or growing. And I can tell you right now, the ones that are growing are cherry-picking items and even extracting classifications from lines and putting it in their store instead of just buying to, uh, you know, buying to the dollar amount in a specific line. And that makes all the sense in the world. Well, Rollins, I'd like to say thank you for this great tour today. And to our viewers, I'd like to say stay tuned. There's lots more to come with Rollins Gilead here. Well, I appreciate at it. Thanks.